Well, green and blue belts, it is Tuesday, May 12th, and it's time to get to work. Hopefully you guys um, are enjoying training so far this week with our self-defense and grappling theme. Uh, please, as always, make sure you do your warm-ups before we get started. We don't want anybody pulling anything. Um, yesterday, we went over self-defense number three, and then we also worked on a standing guillotine choke. Today, we're going to work on our self-defense number two, and we're also going to move into another technique from the guard, we're going to teach you your first arm bar today. That's right. We'll teach you your first arm bar today. So, Bailey, you ready to get this thing started? Yeah. Who's awesome. Who's All right. Okay, so if I get your defense stance. All right, we're going to do self-defense number two, green number two. The attack is doing a skip front kick. Okay, move out of the way for a second. So, I'm doing a skip front kick. I'm picking up my back leg and kicking with the front leg. I'm skipping towards him. I'm picking up the back leg and kicking. Kicking with the front leg. His first priority is to maintain distance. He's going to shuffle back. Okay, so from here, I'm coming right at him. He shuffles back. Now he's going to shuffle back in with a front palm strike to the face. He level chains, he lowers his level. He's going to shoot in like a football tackle. Now from here, his ear goes to my back. He wraps around the waist and behind my leg. He's going to lean into me, putting my weight on my back leg. I'm bigger and I'm heavier, so he doesn't want my weight on the front leg. He's never lifted. He pushes it back. So now that leg comes light and lifts it all the way up to his belt. A lot of you guys get lazy and let it sit here. That means you're going to get kicked in the groin as they fall. Pick it up to the belt. From here, he's going to take a baby step forward with his right foot and step behind my leg with his left. You can step it up to your right. Oh. Okay? Then he twists to the right. He punches the groin with his left hand. Left. Hooks the foot. Throws the foot. Steps up to the head and punches with the left hand again. Yeah. Again. Skip front, he shuffles back, shuffles back in, palm straight to the face with the front arm. He's low, shoulder in the waist, ear on the back. Grabs around my waist with his one hand and behind the knee with the other. Leans into me. Lifts that leg all the way up to his hip. Takes a baby step in with his right and steps behind my leg with his left. Twist to the right. <laughs> I can't help you, knucklehead. Get up. Uh, punch to the groin. Throw the leg. Punch and key out. It's hard to do this stuff in slow motion when you're half my size. Okay? You can try it one more time here, guys. All right. Ready? You can handle it? Yeah. Front palm strike. Lower level. Lean into me. Get my weight on my back leg. Lift. Step behind the leg and twist. Hit the groin, throw the leg, punch and key out. There we go. Okay, blue, number two. Blue. Blue. I have the knife here. I'm going to do an overhead stab. Okay, set by Bailey, he's doing his defensive stance. I'm coming at him with an overhead strike. He's going to do a high block. Now, for some reason, some of you guys make a very, very critical error. You move in. Don't move at a knife. Don't close the distance on a knife. Don't step into it. Okay, we're blocking right here. Boom. Now we're going to shuffle in. Shoot your arm underneath. Snake it around. Grab your own wrist. Squeeze your elbows. Shrug your shoulder. Take two steps. One, two. Punching key eye. Yeah. Take the knife by the handle. Again, shuffle in, snake through, grab your wrist, squeeze the elbow, shrug the shoulder, two steps, one, two, uh, punch key out, yeah. uh, take the knife by the handle. Show you from the opposite side here, Oops. overhead stab, now, shuffle in, shoot the arm in, grab. Now, if Bailey does not squeeze his elbows together before he brings it down, uh -huh. that knife goes right into the bottom. So we have to squeeze the elbows and shrug the shoulder, get the elbow high. Now take two steps. One, two, three. Yeah. And take the knife. All right. That's self-defense number two. Today, guys, I want to talk to you about what we call the non-quitting spirit. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this before. We're going to talk about it again. That's how we learn things, guys, through repetition. The non-quitting spirit teaches us not to give up when things become tough. 
they become challenging. They lose the excitement. They lose the new shiny feel. When something's not new and exciting anymore, we tend to lose interest. We tend to give up on things. Okay? When you first started your training at Leading Edge Martial Arts, it was all new and exciting and fun. We were on the mat together and we were laughing and chatting and working and sweating. And it was, it was fun and exciting and all oh, so new. But now you've been training at Leading Edge for over a year. It's not new and exciting. And for the last two months, we've had to train solely online. It can be frustrating. It can be daunting. It can be challenging. It can be harder to get motivated, harder to learn, harder to stay on track. It's not an excuse to give up. In the martial arts, we learn a non-quitting spirit. We learn not to give up, no matter how tough or challenging things become. You've done this well this far. You've come this long without giving up. Don't allow this quarantine, this shut-in, to be the excuse for you to give up now. Apply your non-quitting spirit. Apply what you've learned at Leading Edge and stay the course. We're not giving up on you. Trust me when I say I'm frustrated. I want to be on the mat with you. I don't like talking to a camera. I like talking to you in person. But guys, it's not a reason why we're going to give up, so we need you to stay the course as well. Keep being Lima strong. Non-quitting spirit. Now, if you guys want to chat sometime, if you want to just say hello, have mom and dad email me. Sensei Rob at LeadingEdgeMA.com. Sensei Rob at LeadingEdgeMA.com. If you just want to say hello, check in. I'd love to hear from you. Have mom and dad email me and we'll set up a private Zoom chat just so we can say hi. Just so we can catch up. Just so we can have some FaceTime. I would love some FaceTime with, with you. Just to say, how you doing? Just to say hi. Stay Lima strong, guys. Non-quitting spirit. All right, today... We're gonna continue with our grappling theme. Yesterday we taught you a choke, the guillotine from a standing position. Today we're gonna to teach you an arm bar from inside the guard. It's actually a double arm bar. Double arm bar, that's right. So right here, set by bailing. On your back, please. Your other back, set by bailing. Oh. <sighs> guard, please, set by bailing. So, now, I'm inside set by Bailey's guard. Please wrap up high and tight around my waist. From here, I'm inside his guard and I make a critical error. I think I can attack him from inside the guard, but we've learned from our positioning drills that in the guard, the bottom has control. But for whatever reason, I wasn't paying attention to Sensei that day, so I tried to choke my partner from here. Maybe I'm trying to do a cross choke, maybe I'm doing a straight choke, maybe I'm just pushing him down. I have my hands here. He's gonna grab my wrists. From here, he's gonna throw his legs up on top of my shoulders. Both of them. Good, now he's gonna squeeze his elbows together and he's gonna hip up. Tap, tap, tap. Now, we know that the way we let our partner know we feel something is tapping out. It's tough to tap out when both of your hands are tied up. So say tap, 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 or Uncle Sensei, or something like that, okay? <laughs> All right, so guard, please. Uncle Sensei. I have two hands. Now, you can't just pick your legs up and put them on the shoulders. They won't reach, okay? You have to literally throw your hips into the sky. You're going to throw your hips up. Your hips are going to hit the elbows as you do this. So go. Boom. Now, your legs are on top of the shoulders. Don't let the hands slide. If they slide, now I can pass the guard. Throw it up. Keep this tied up tight, squeeze your knees, and then hips up. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna show you from the side, I really want you to focus on how Bailey's hips go up in the sky. Grabs the wrist, watch, his butt is gonna leave the ground. Okay, go ahead. Now look, his butt's not on the ground, guys. His butt's in the air. Joshua, are you zooming in? Thank you. His butt's in the air so he can get his hips up high. Now he squeezes his elbows, or squeezes his knees, and hips up. Tap, tap, tap. Watch one last time right here. Go ahead. Watch his hips. Ooh, you see how high they came up? Okay. Let's 
Squeeze the knees. That's it. Tap, tap, tap. All right, guys. Good job. So today we did self-defense number two. We continue to talk about the non-quitting spirit. You're going to hear me say that 110 times probably in the next month because it's so very important right now. It applies so much to, to what we're going through right now and not using this, this as an excuse to give up. Okay. <coughs> So, and then we worked on our grappling. We taught you an arm bar. Be extremely careful as you begin to apply these arm bars and choke holds that we're teaching you guys. You have to go very slow and very carefully. Now, last thing I want to talk to you guys about is I'm asking you for help. I'm asking you for help. Leading Edge Martial Arts is going through a challenging time right now. We're challenged because we haven't been able to open our doors and we're trying everything we do to keep Lima alive. You've done your part, you've been Lima strong, you've been training, you haven't given up on your journey and you have not quit on us. So thank you for that. But now we're gonna ask you for some more help. Leading Edge Martial Arts needs more students to survive. We need to continue to grow. We need to bring in new white belts. Each and every one of you has a handful of friends that don't do martial arts yet, that would probably benefit from what you're benefiting from. And they've had their baseball seasons, their soccer seasons, their lacrosse seasons, their scout seasons, their vacation, they've had everything canceled on them. And they're sitting at home and all they're doing is playing Fortnite. They're not getting the exercise and work they need. You know that they could use the valuable skills like discipline and confidence and non-quitting spirit that you're learning at Leading Edge Martial Arts. So here's our request. We want everyone, everyone, to make a list of two to three friends or more that you know would benefit from coming to Leading Edge. And then we want you to reach out to them. Have mom and dad reach out to them and help Leading Edge grow. We're asking you to refer your friends. We are now enrolling students in our online program. Your students, your friends will get a free private Zoom class with me as an introduction. And then they will get started on the Lima online program just like you. If mom and dad aren't watching this, please bring them in and show them this part of this video. We need your help. We need your support. Share the Leading Edge with your friends. Help keep Leading Edge alive. And keep being Lima strong. We'll see you online tomorrow. Oos.